Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to share with you another tool that you might want to use in your presentations when you are discussing with a client or a prospect. Um, specifically one, I think this would be a good fit for a prospect that already has a pretty good rating, like a five-star rating, but they only have a couple of reviews. So I'm going to show you two different business examples that uh, are kind of on opposite ends of the spectrum, and we're going to see what the advantage would be here, kind of to just help use this as a justification. Um, for the cost, kind of, you know, pitch the ROI savings to the, the return on investment to the, the prospect here. So we've got this average rating calculator, and we're going to take a look at the first company will be uh, Lodestar Pest Management. And they've got four, they've got a four star rating, which isn't bad. It could be better, but it's not bad. And they've only got four reviews. And so if we look, they've got a five star, five star, five star, and a one star. So they got three fives and a one right so let's take a look at how we arrive at these numbers so obviously Google is now calculating that to be the four star rating that's how that came about right that's not necessarily what's important right here what would what would the damage be if they got another one star review we see it drops them down below a three and a half a 3.4 star rating would you do business with a company that had a, a 3.4 star rating um, if you didn't already know them, you might be hard pressed to, to be convinced to. So, um, and this is probably not indicative of this business at all. I'm sure I've never used them, but I'm sure they have hundreds of clients who have had great experiences with them. But again, that's the game of online ratings for a new client to go see this number would be detrimental to them, right? So right now they're at a four, but if they just got one other person who left them a one star rating, it drops them down below a three and a half. It's just, it's really, really hard to overcome that um, with this few ratings and reviews. So I want to take a look at another company that we can use as an example. This company is already a five-star uh, Ninja customer. And so I'm familiar with them. I know that out of these 58 different reviews that they have this one, one-star service, uh, or one-star rating rather, and the rest of them are all five stars. And so they have 57 five stars and one one star. So let's see what that looks like over here. So that's how we arrived at our 4.9, right? If they were to somehow get another one star rating, it takes them to a 4.86, which would likely still round up to the 4.9 in Google. So if you're client only has a couple of ratings, even if it's a five-star rating, this is a great way to pitch that and say, what would another one-star rating do? And would you rather be in the boat where it takes you down below a three and a half uh, star rating? Or would you rather be on the side where it still leaves you at a 4.9 because you had so many different positive reviews that were all at five stars? And so it gave you just much more of a padding, a cushion to absorb that additional negative rating. So anyway, guys, that's just another way that you can help pitch this to your um, potential clients, your prospects that you're that you're talking to. If one of their objections is, well, I already have a five-star rating, but they only have a few ratings and reviews, this is a great way to explain yet another benefit of Five Star Ninja to be able to overcome that objection and say, yes, but not only do we help you avoid negative reviews, but we also help you cushion and recover from any negative reviews that you incur, even if you incurred them. You know, it wasn't a um, it wasn't a real review, so to speak. Like we've had clients where they got a negative review from somebody that wasn't even their customer. That's an unfair rating, but they you still have to recover from it. You got to react to it. So this is a great way to show them how we're going to do that. That's it for right now, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.